an 11 year old girl with no more symptoms. That's the story of my latest client to solve Crohn's disease, inflammatory bowel disease, all naturally in six weeks after joining my clinic and using the mind gut immunity method. Lots of important lessons here. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Hi there, I'm Dr. Chanu Dasari, a surgeon who specializes in reversing gut microbiome dysfunction and autoimmune inflammation. My technique for reversing symptoms in as little as six weeks has helped thousands of patients over the years and is called the Mind-Gut Immunity Method. And if you would like to learn more, please visit mgiclinic.com and request a discovery call. Now, in this upcoming video, you'll meet one of my younger clients who struggled with Crohn's disease. She is just 11 years old and accompanied by her parents to give us an update about her progress. Her parents had so much doubt and so much anxiety about starting the Mind Gut Immunity program. But when they started seeing results in their daughter, their mood and outlook quickly changed. Now, she's a normal kid again with lots of energy and a positive outlook. These type of success stories I hear about every day in our clinic, and I'm happy to be able to share this special one with you. All right, so first thing is first, you're doing good, this is great. Um, what are some positive benefits you have seen since joining the Mind Gut Immunity Clinic? Um, as, as parents, that's I would say that our anxiety has been reduced so much, you know, mm -hmm. drastically, so we would say like, it was when, when you take it's 100%, now it has become like 10, 5% or so. Yeah. The anxiety is the first thing. Anxiety. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. And uh, we see the, the complete treatment procedure more easily. Therefore, we see that a good, um, so to say, a good progress coming days. Yeah. Yeah. I think what you noticed in the beginning, you had a lot of questions. You remember like the first couple, the first like couple days to weeks, you were just like constantly like wanting to know this, wanting to know that. I said, yeah, calm, you know, you'll, watch, you'll see, you'll see. Right. And then like mm -hmm. around week two, week three, all the questions stopped because you saw her, you saw her getting better. Right. She was yeah, getting yeah, better. That's true. I know. And it's so funny because every, whenever I work with people, it's always kind of the same thing. Like the first few weeks, are always like, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? I'm not really seeing the benefit just yet. You know, we're having a tough time with parts of the protocol. Can you please explain it to me? And I agree. The anxiety is like really high, really high at that at time. Every little thing you're like, oh, my God, what's happening? And then and then you start to see around like week three, week four, you start to like mellow out because things are you already know things are working. It's like, uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. When you first joined the Mind Gut Immunity Clinic, um, obviously uh, you had a lot of your daughter. She had a, a lot of unresolved symptoms, right? And can you describe to me what some of these symptoms were and how it was affecting your life? Um, if I recollect it right, that she had some physical, uh, actually she's physically very tired. She was, yeah. Big, she yeah. couldn't uh, do sports and she couldn't be able to eat the food, even though it's healthy food, not properly. And her weight has gone so much down. Mm -hmm. And um, as I said, I'll, already we had anxiety as parents. Uh, anything what else? else? What else did you notice? Yeah, and she had, she had some sometimes constipation, sometimes frequent um, visiting of toilets, mm -hmm. and uh, she has burning symptoms. She had burning burning symptoms, uh, but now it's we are seeing hardly those kind of symptoms. Yeah, yeah, it's mostly gone, basically, right? Yeah. yeah. If you had to put a percentage of resolution, like if if you were to pull a number, what percentage of your symptoms would you say are gone? Um, if we strictly follow your regimen, it's gone. completely gone. Yeah. It's completely wow. hundred percent. Yeah. Those are they, hey, are, are they gone. telling the truth? Are they telling the truth? Yeah. You feel, you feel great? Yeah. Wow. That's good. This is very good. So you've had complete resolution of symptoms in a very short period of time. This is very good. Yeah. Can I ask you something? So, you know, we had, we had this discussion before 
before you joined our program, um, you know, the doc, you had a few doctors helping you out. What were they, what were they saying? What were they doing? And what would you say some of the limitations were with that, uh, with the traditional care? Okay. Um, I, I don't know about in America, but in Europe, it's that that once you are diagnosed with either of those symptoms like ulcerative colitis or maybe Crohn's, um, you'll be straight away recommended to take medicines yeah, mm -hmm. by, by doctors, uh, which, uh, which also induced our anxiety yeah, because this, this medicine itself has some side effects. And yeah. um, they said we should live with that for ever, at least next, at least next seven, eight years or so. And um, it's totally contradictory to the thing what we are doing right now. <laughs> I know. And, she, and you feel better, right? Yeah. What medications were they proposing? They were pro proposing um, biologics. Mm -hmm. uh, example of, um, what's that? This, this medicine. Humira. Humira, yeah. Oh, Humira. Humira. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's kind of scary, I would think, as parents to like, and I, we get this all the time, even when I was diagnosed with this problem, and I was pretty young when it happened, the physicians all said the same thing, this is going to be a lifelong thing, here's our medications, the only medications they've got is like mesalamine, steroids, and then biologics, right? Mm -hmm. And then they just want to keep scoping you every time or do a stool test. And mm -hmm. then like, you know, and then you don't know anything, right? Like, and then they say, oh, it's genetic. But like, why are you, why are you the only one in the family that has it, right? Why are you the first yeah. person in the family to yeah, have yeah. it? You know, all these yeah. things are going in your head. And then here's another thing. Like, why do I feel better when when the colon when I do the colonoscopy? I clear, You know how you have to clear out? And I feel good for like one or two days. I feel great, right? That's you true. wonder like, why is that? Well, it's because it's it's not. It's related to the gut microbiome. It's the gut microbiome dysfunction that's causing these problems. And, and mm. I have to say a lot of people they miss that. They're like, they're mm -hmm. so concentrated, so focused on decreasing the immune response, right? That's like mm -hmm. what we focus on a lot of in Western medicine is fixing the immune True. response. But I mm -hmm. think, I think we don't do as good of a job with addressing the root causes, which include diet, digestion, sleep, stress, exercise, all of these things need to be optimized. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in your case, <laughs> like, look how much progress you can make in, yeah. such a short, in such a short period of time, if you fix that's it, true. actually, the disease goes away, you know, yeah. the yeah. disease goes away. And I think that's, you know, and I, I, you know, at least from my perspective, hearing, hearing you tell me these limitations, that's sort of the things I'm thinking about, too, is like, I see these things keep coming up, keeping keep coming up. What mm -hmm. would you say has helped you the most since starting the program? Um. You're allowed to what answer the... too. You're very quiet in the background. <laughs> you can answer that. I can't speak English. She 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 feels she can't speak English because it's her second language here. So oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. third language third. third language. She knows three languages. Mm -hmm. Yeah yeah yeah. 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 Um, you you can you come again with the question? I'm sorry. I... You know we we did a lot in this program. There was like, yeah. you know, we, we fixed the gut microbiome. We, we did the diet together. We got put her on, you know, we got an exercise regimen. We optimized her sleep, made sure she wasn't a lot of stress. There a lot of different parts to the program. Yeah. And then obviously there's like the support factor and constantly like, you know, back and forth, like texting, calling meetings like this, Zoom calls, you know. So my, I guess my question was like, what would you say was the most helpful part of the program? Okay, as um, as a as a parent and as a layman here, I would say I don't have such much knowledge about um, medical field and also treatment side and so on. We were during the times of anxiety and during the time when we were struggling, we do not know what's the right food to take. Yeah, mm -hmm. what, what actually the right food to take to to uh, to suppress the symptoms or to to get cured and so on. And exactly this puzzle was missing from our side. Mm -hmm. And after joining this program, we saw that your regimen helped us to take what kind of um, food and what type of uh, um, uh, pills that, that is the, the natural. Uh, yeah, natural. natural yeah, things, exactly. yeah. That's the most important thing which uh, actually helped us. Yeah. Okay, good. 
now that you're basically fully recovered, now that you're feeling good, what are you most excited about? What are you looking forward to the most? Um, actually, we are looking forward to having her the very normal, less anxious and socially good life, number yeah. one. And number two is that, honestly speaking, we also plan to have a cheat meal. <laughs> good yeah 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 <laughs> that's actually that's actually what we're working on right now yeah how, exactly how to cheat right cheat to... so you might take once in a while like uh, oh, the one you you... yeah this kind of things yeah this yeah you know some of your favorite foods we've been we've been we're going to add back in into the pro yeah that's right so usually in the beginning we're pretty strict right we say hey you got to follow this for a few weeks maybe a month yeah. maybe two right and then like we move towards like a phase two type diet and then we start integrating the foods that you miss the most. We And then, and then by the time this is all done, you're more or less eating what you want to eat at the end of it, right? Within reason, yeah. you know, there's a little bit of, there's a little bit of some principles you still have to follow, but it's kind of like that. And that's where we're at in this, yeah. in this program, right? Hey, what advice would you give to someone or maybe some parents, okay? who has a child who's struggling with immune inflammation and digestive dysfunction, what advice would you give them? Okay. Um, the one thing which I would give something else, but what I would give is don't give up, uh, particularly for the kid of 11 year old. Uh, please support her and coax her to follow this regimen. Every now and then it would be difficult. But as a parent, if you support them, that would be definitely going to uh, bring a good result for you guys. Yeah, This is what I definitely want to give to you people. Because as a kid, she has low, less experience. But if we give her support or coax her to do that, yeah, to take the right meal and so on. And she is radiating such a joy and such a kind of uh, uh, positive attitude that some of our relatives also want to follow her. Yeah. Although <laughs> they don't have, yeah, we we our family is also changing a bit, so it's all it's like a kind of positive feedback, and they already admire her determination. Yes, and people saying, oh, probably the kind of if we eat, we are actually the day to day life, um, the meals what we are taking is not necessarily hundred percent healthy. Yeah, and if we follow even the people in village in India and also the in metro city and so everybody admired her for the food what she's taking yeah mm -hmm. and uh, some people are willing to follow particularly in our family we are already taking a uh, portion of her food yeah mm -hmm. and mom oh. what, what do you think mom yeah I, actually before coming to you i was very angry uh, very uh, afraid because uh, this is uh, what we heard from the doctor is a lifelong disease so uh, I, we 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 couldn't tolerate, and we we don't know how it happens. And uh, what uh, did I give her any um, unhealthy food? So I we were very much worried. But uh, after coming to you and following the uh, program you gave us, that gave a very good hope, and uh, the result is also very positive. And now she is uh, normal and she is uh, again uh, back to her uh, normal normal level. So we are very happy now and uh, uh, we can also sh uh, tell some people if uh, anybody is uh, having so, such a disease, we can say, don't worry, that will, uh, that's not, uh, we can change it. So. Can Actually, it doesn't have to exist, yeah. It doesn't have to exist. We can fix it. Hey, what do you have to add? Do you have anything else? No. No? <laughs> you feel good, right? Yes. Everything's good? You happy? Yeah. That's good. That's very good. Well, you know, you did really well. I want to tell you that. You did You did excellent and you're feeling good. And now we're going to just make make it so that you can have all of your food again your favorite foods and uh, that's the next step but i'm glad that all of your symptoms are gone and that you're doing really well this is very important to me that uh, that you're doing well this is great thank you yeah thank you. it's a uh, time where there are not many doctors 
who can do this evidence based uh, um, support and so on yeah this is the I, time where you are a kind of lacking of there's all these studies on on these yeah. things we're doing it's very scientific what we're doing but i agree yeah. evidence based support like someone who is has a support system that that also integrates these evidence based methods okay. it's very rare and i haven't seen uh, i haven't seen a whole lot of places that do it well so i hope you enjoyed that segment if you enjoyed my content don't forget to like and subscribe and if you think this will help someone you know be sure to repost a link to this video as always i'm dr chanu dasri with the manga immunity clinic let me know if i can help you out